Flash. The Flash. Can you describe your character? I play Cisco Ramon. you can share about Cisco that they told you or um no okay <laughs> right and since you had you know you had that one part in the episode of Arrow mm -hmm. and then you did the pilot did you feel like were those very similar sets to work on do you feel like there were a lot of differences uh they they were similar mm -hmm. um uh, in the, uh, they were similar in you know their basic components. You know, like taking a day to shoot and the general vibe of the people. There, there's a lot of crossover, um, but they were different in terms of the creative energy behind, okay. behind them. Because Arrow is like is already like a, a pretty well established show oh, yeah. with, with its own language and its own culture mm -hmm. and whatnot. Um, so that was very sure of itself, and it, that felt like more like I was stepping into a very, for lack of a better phrase, well-oiled well -oiled machine. Okay. Um, and with the flash, it felt more like we were discovering it as we went along. And David Nutter actually really spearheaded that uh, okay. that feeling. He really gave it that feeling of like let let's let's go for it. Let's experiment. Let's let's play around with this and let's give it heart. That's right. what it's cool about me. I mean, I've noticed it's, it's a much more cheerful <laughs> version of comic books yeah. than a lot of than a lot of the adaptations we've seen lately. Of you know, course, yeah, it's, it's like all very dark and serious. <laughs> absolutely, it's it's very much its own thing, but mm -hmm. it's it's still it's very cool. I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Apples and oranges. Apples right. taste great, and oranges also taste great. Right, <laughs> and it's good to have both. <laughs> right, exactly. And not just for the bites. But yes. Um, so, were you yourself? Have you been a comic book fan, like, or is this like all new territory? Uh, when I when I first heard about uh, me getting the job, me mm -hmm. getting the show, uh, I I at that point was more a fan of graphic novels. Okay. Uh, or I started to become a fan of graphic novels. Sure. And so um, when I when I when I got the show, I. I was very excited to delve into that comic book world, and I did so fervently. Um, and I think um, 
focusing on that comic book world was, was, was very easy for me, you know, given like my my love of graphic novels. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It was great. Cool. And it still is. I right. still read them. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. And what was the experience like making the pilot? Like going into that? It was crazy. Mm. It was it was wild. Um, especially because I uh, had never done uh, television. It was quite a world for mm -hmm. me, and it still continues to be. But uh, even though it was a whirlwind, it was it, w it was all grounded in a very solid place. I mean, there were many times when uh, we, as as a cast, and along with David Nutter and uh, our DP at the time, Blake Winters, we kind of just like all felt like this was meant to be, and that we were living our, our way into something extraordinary. Now, speaking of a whirlwind, you've got Comic Con coming up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> have you been before? Or I have like not been. Um, no, I'm just so, do you, are you, do you have any expectations um, for that? Or I'm actually you? not going to. Oh, you're not going? I'm sorry. Be, I'll be fine. I suppose you have to work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've dodged a bullet. Those people are crazy. Yeah, I, I would love to go. Mm -hmm. I would love to go. Next year, when everybody is like, you know, already in love with you and stuff, and, like, <laughs> and the 